One of the common scenarios that I run across is that people are transferring from one web platform to another. So for example, if you are on maxweb.me.com uh, or iWeb, whatever it's called, and you want to move to WordPress, uh, about the only thing you can do is do an RSS import. So if you are in WordPress and you come into the tools import option, you can import the RSS. However, once you import that, A, it looks pretty bad. Like instead of paragraph breaks, you'll see like uh, line breaks and so forth. But another major problem is that the links to all the images are still pointing to your old server. So usually when people change servers, they plan to eventually kind of put down the old one. So how is it that you transfer all of these images in an automated way? Well, I have a great trick for you. First, just go ahead and remove this reference and go to the post that has the image that you want to move. So right click it and do copy image location. Then we're just going to add an image tag, image source equals, just paste in what I copied. And I happen to know the class here, align right and I want it to be 335 pixels. Close it now. I'll hit update. Notice that it's still pointing to web.me.com, but there's kind of a plugin that works magic. It's called Cache Remote Images. And what it's gonna do is it's, it's gonna suck in all of these images that have this external domain, and it's gonna pull them inside of WordPress. So I'm gonna come down here to Cache Remote Images. Remember I said this plugin is called Cache Images, so after you install it, you see this Cache Remote Images option in the Tools menu. So basically all you do is click Scan. It looks through your posts for all the um, image links that are hot image links, and 34 images found. So I'm just going to hit Cache from this domain and let it do its little magic. It's actually pulling all those images right into WordPress. So it'll be in the wp-content uh, uploads-2010 folder of some kind. Okay, it's still going. Remember this one is uh, what August is supposed to look like. So when this is finished, we'll go back and look at this post and see in fact that the web.me.com URL has changed. So, all right, there's that post. We'll click edit. And voila, this is the new domain that it pulled that image into. And now you can delete the images from the old domain and you won't have to worry about losing anything. My name is Tom Johnson and I have a blog at I'd rather be where I have lots of other WordPress tips.